Hey guys, how you doing? Mark here on the road again. And uh, decided to make a quick video. Uh, been going through this course. Uh, and there's some, there's some interesting things that I've come across. And, uh, you know, I think in the last video I mentioned the mindset portion of that course was uh, pretty long. And, uh, but it has got me to a point where I'm, uh, I'm not necessarily reading a book every day, but I'm listening to books, um, and I'm going through basically, on average, about one book a week. And um, I'm telling you something, and I just read Psycho-Cybernetics, and I can highly recommend that book. Well, I, I said I just read it. I'm actually halfway through that one. Um, that's, a, that's an excellent book. And it talks about a couple of things. You have to remember, this book was written back in like 1960 uh, by a plastic surgeon. And um, what's interesting is, though, the very same things that he talks about as far as improving your life, it doesn't have anything to do with plastic surgery, but it does have to do with your self-image and how you see yourself and, uh, and how you can change um, you know you can make some big changes just by picturing daily uh, the type of person that you want to be and where you want to be um, and of course as always you have to identify what it is that you want you always have to, to know what it is that you want and uh, you know if you're at a job that you're perfectly content with hey by all means stay there but if you're not, picture where you want, figure out how to get there, and just visualize that whole process. And do that very consistently. Uh, watched a video the other day, uh, don't remember who it was, but they were talking about how billionaires think and how very successful people think. And the thing is, most people would probably think they're weird. Um, and typically, I have found most of this to be true, as they, these folks that are very successful are very focused on what it is that they want and what it is that they, they need to do to go get it, to achieve their goal. And so what's holding you back? What's the difference? You know, if there's something that you, you want to get out there and get, then you do. You, you can sit there and picture it. You can picture what that person looks like. That you. And start behaving that way. Because you're going to have to be that person before you are that person. I mean, you're going to have to act like that. And it's not a fake it till you make it thing. It's more of a um, taking on that role. And, um, and it's not always easy. I mean, I'm out here... Uh, working quite a bit in West Texas right now and I do a lot of things I'm doing some things on the side and I'm making progress probably not making progress as quickly as I'd like to but still making progress and that's the deal you know this is a process uh, what you're going through is a process if you're you know just not coming online and looking for something or you've been online and you're doing something or, or whatever. Uh, it is a process and it takes time and you do have to have patience. Patience is required uh, for success. And you're gonna make failure. You know, you're gonna have failures. So what? You know, failures are actually good. If you start looking at, at them through the proper perspective, then you realize that that, uh, that is a good thing. And uh, you know, learning to fail, and then going, getting back up, and doing it all over again. Uh, these are things that uh, you know really come through the character of a person, rather than anything else. I mean, I I, I know that uh, a lot of people have seen this, where you know someone's cooking a dish, and the dish may be something that you're quite used to, but you can always tell when they cook. You know, makes it with love. And um, you can always tell that, that, that it changes the taste. 
And so, guys, you know, make your life. Figure out what it is that you want and do it with love. You know, I promise you, you won't regret it. So, guys, until next time, take care. Have a great day. I'll see you at the top.